Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 17 of my Meng 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. We're going to start this episode with some washing. No, not that sort of washing. This sort of washing. I'm using my homebrew black brown mix wash. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. As you can see, the tail has popped, so needed regluing. There's the tail sorted. Now, on to some painting. I'm going to be doing the wing tip skids here. I'm using Tamiya's XF60 here, I believe. So, let's get those done. There we go, that's the skids done. Now for the prop. I'm gonna give it a good old coat of Tamiya X26 Clear Orange. There we go, that's the props done. According to the destructions, we know how good they are. Now it's on to the wing struts for a good old wash. There we go, that's those done. Next we can get back to the tail as it's dried. So, here we go, let's crack on with that. That's the tail washed with the homebrew. Now, you may remember in an earlier video, I fixed the fuselage strut. Yeah, well, I managed to break it again. So, here we go at fixing it, again. Let's pop that to one side whilst the glue dries on the styrene that I used. Now let's get some of the wash cleaned off shall we? Let's put the wheels on as we're here.
It was at this point I realised I'd made another cock up. I'd used the wrong inner side of the wheel. Bollocks. Oh well, let's move on. The decals for this kit are quite thick, so I needed to use more of my homebrew decal solution. Here we go. They now need to be left flat to allow the solution to work. Whilst that's happening, let's crack on with fixing this fuselage strut for the second time, shall we? And another bit of the strut that needs to dry. Slowly, slowly on that one. And back to cleaning up the washes. Okay, there we have the tail and fuselage cleaned up. Now, back to the fuselage strut. What I'm doing here is building up several small layers of super glue to try to recreate the approximate profile of the strut, slightly oversized. Then I can sand it back into the correct shape. Here we go. Okay, let's pop that over there to harden up properly before we start to knock it into shape. While that's happening, let's pop some gauges into the cockpit, shall we? There we have the gauges fitted satis. Next up we're going to paint the rear skid with Vallejo 70.828 wood stain. There we go, one rear skid painted and ready for fitting. Once dried. Now back to the tail. Here we are fitting the tail plane spars. Tail plane sparse fitted satis. Next up, the rear skid. So let's crack on with that and get it sorted. Mm -hmm. 
that's the rear skid fixed in place. From a rear skid to a wingtip skid, we're going to give these a wood grain finish again using Vallejo's 70.828. Wingtip skids done, we'll let those dry. Now to shape the fuselage strut. Really? Oh, better fix a bloody thing. Put that to one side and try again later. Next, more clean up. This time, the wing struts. Okay, there we go. That's the wing struts cleaned up, ready for fitting. Now, some of you may know that I lost the rudder for this. Rudder gate. It just went poof, gone. So, I've got a scratch build on. Luckily, I've got the Meng 132nd DR on. So, I measured that bad boy, did the calculations, and attempted to recreate it. Here's what happened. That's the calculations done, now on to scratch building it. Wish me luck! Ok, here's what I did. You saw me take a picture of the other rudder. I then passed that to a photo editing app where I increased it to the correct size through the calculations I made. I then cut it out of the paper, glued it to a piece of styrene the right thickness, then I cut it out from there. Jobs are good, I hope. There we have one roughly cut out rudder. That's how you do it. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end the episode. So thank you for watching episode 17. If you want to see what happens in episode 18, 
please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.